So here we have a Emu Black uh, ECU that I will be testing and trying out. Currently was on VEMS, but I had this ECU uh, laying around for another project I had, but that hasn't happened. Either way, decided to throw it in here and uh, and see if I like it, learn it, uh, try something else. Uh, for the time being this ECU came with a plug-and-play harness and what the harness consists of is the jumper wires and this plug-and-play box so on one end it's got a Bosch 55 pin that connects to the body harness here for uh, the ECU the ECU harness and on the other end, it has a gray and black connector that then plugs into these and jumps it to the Emu Black connectors, the standard connectors they use uh, on all on all Emu Black ECUs. Either way. Um, Aside from having to wire in a 4.9 sensor, uh, this is a plug-in harness, right? Uh, but it makes no provisions for the 4.9 or even a 4.2 if, if you opt it. It does not give you, well, it, it, the ECU does give you a choice. You could configure it either way. But uh, there is no, there is no plug uh, already preset for that. So. Uh, some wiring is still required uh, for a plug-and-play unit. Uh, those familiar are coming from a VEMS unit, uh, which is what uh, I was previously using. We'll remember these pins here. You got an aux pin and you got the uh, 4.2 pin and, you know, eloquently enough, you know, it's all done for you in true plug-and-play fashion. That's my 4.2, which I still have there in case, in case I want to revert back. Uh, I've, I've kept it there, uh, the 4.2 sensor, but yeah, you know, in true plug and play fashion, the VEMS unit, uh, does already have the wide band, internal wide band wired up for you, uh, already something had to do on, uh, on the Emu Black, um, uh, not bad. It's relatively easy if you're handy, uh, with wiring, but that's one thing I had, a I had a wire in a 4.9 sensor, which is already done. Um, the problem is that once I, uh, I wired that up, I was expecting that that was the only thing needed to wire up. So what I, uh, after plugging it in and everything, uh, I, it did not power up the ECU. So I, I double checked all my, my fuses and whatnot. And those that are familiar with, uh, URS cars already know the, the, uh, the usual path of, you know, uh, of diagnosing an ECU that doesn't power up, but um, for those that don't know, uh, pin 18 on the Motronic uh, harness here uh, is constant power. And this is just a cheap little test light, and you'll see it light up when I when I plug that up. That's pin 18 on the 55 pin car harness um for some reason uh what i found out was when i plugged this in to the uh to the uh that little jumper that comes with uh this one here i'll do this with one hand here bear with me uh that's in uh, the ecu needs power it needs power uh, so you would expect that constant power to show up somewhere in one of these pins. It's supposed to come out of the black pin, but I went one by one on all of these, and that was my cheap, easy, fast way of diagnosing, uh, simple, just power on off. And, and there is nothing. I'll, I'll check the gray connector. It's not supposed to be on the gray connector, but I did that as well just in case something inside the box uh, 
was wired that way and that that on that plug and it doesn't look like it so I have already gone ahead and you know checked out which pin needs uh, the power and I uh, I already have it here I let's see here labeled it uh, constant power right here right here um, so I might have to feed this plug-and-play emu unit constant power separately don't know why they would do that um, why they would do that on a plug-and-play unit that already has power there and it's fused um, just like the OEM uh, ECU would be fused um, not sure why they would do that but for those of you trying to make the switch just so that you know you do have to wire in your own wideband and you might have to feed it power uh, either from an external sur source or I don't know maybe I might get nifty and open this box up and jump whatever whatever pin is necessary from one to the next and this way it's just a, a real plug-and-play uh, solution for that um, but yeah emu black uh, 92 to 95 uh, s4 s65 cylinder aen harness uh, with the jumper harness as well uh, you know, some assembly still required not as plug and play as good old you know vems that's tried true the uh, the community uh, is very familiar with that ECU and there's plenty of support but try to uh, try something different uh, and see how it goes so uh, so yeah for those uh, hopefully this helps help someone out click the like and share subscribe button if, uh, if this helped you out or you know somebody that could possibly use the help thank you